This is Aaron Freed with Blue Ribbon Flies in West Yellowstone, Montana. And today we're going to be tying our new stubby beetle pattern using a Umqua XT050 stubby T hook. This is a size 10 and a 6 aught uh, Semperfly classic waxed black thread. I'm going to start by laying a thread base. Um, you can see that this hook has a little bit of a uh, sharp bend right there, and I wrap just a little bit down that bend and then bring the uh, thread back just past the halfway point of the hook. I'm going to use foam uh, for this fly. This is a Wapsi Evisote fly foam in black. And those come in two thicknesses. This is the thicker, the 3 16 inch uh, thickness. And so I'll tie that in there and wrap back over it back again, just kind of just a little bit down that bend in the back there. And for our body under the foam, we're going to use a hairy ice dub in the bloody black color and this will give just a little bit of a sheen to that fly. Uh, a lot of beetles have certainly a uh, a little bit of shine to them. Um, so I want to go ahead and dub a fairly bushy body um, up to right to where I tied in that foam there. So we'll cover all that foam up. Now we'll go ahead and fold our foam forward and tie that down with a few good wraps and form the rear segment of our fly. And then for wing we're going to use um, silver gray EP fibers, original EP fibers, and I'm going to tie those down. I like to use a fairly, fairly full clump in there. I think they help add a little bit of buoyancy and a little bit of visibility to the fly. And go ahead and trim those butts fairly short. One pesky one there. And then I go ahead and clip this wing a little bit shorter than the length of the body. Just enough to give a nice some nice visibility but not so much that it really alters the profile of the fly from underneath. We're going to go ahead and add some hackle legs right on top of our wing there. So this is a grizzly hackle. I like to undersize by about about one size on the hackle just because I've already tied in um, a few materials there so I'm wrapping over a, a wider base. Um, so this is about a size 12 hackle for the size 10 hook. And I like to go ahead and add just a just a drop of zap a gap on there um, before I go ahead and start wrapping. Help hold the wing in place and and keep that hackle in place a little bit too. So make about three turns with my grizzly hackle and just get a couple of wraps in there to get that tied off. Since we have that glue in there, we don't really need a ton of extra wraps to hold that down. And then to finish the fly, we're going to go back to our bloody black very ice dub again. Go ahead and dub some of that on there. Pull that foam back. Go ahead and just dub that front segment of the fly. Go ahead and fold our foam down. Get about seven or eight good wraps on there. Hold that in place. Pull that foam back and whip finish just right behind the eye there. Get our thread out of the way. I like to go ahead and pull on this foam just a little bit before I cut it just so that it it stretches it out and then it pulls back a little bit away from the hook eye when I uh, trim it. And then last step, I go ahead and trim the hackle on the bottom of the fly so that we've got a fly that'll ride nice and flush on the surface, but we've got some nice hackle legs on either side. So that's the stubby beetle it's based off of our uh, stubby ant pattern that was uh, has been very popular for us. Um, similar design elements, materials, and whatnot. Um, great summer terrestrial to add to your box.